There is more power in that good Gulf gasoline. Hello and welcome to today's Daily Blitz. In this video, we'll be looking into the Saudi Aramco IPO and whether it will be successful or not. So this IPO has been in the works for over three years now, and it finally looks like it's going to happen in early December. Now, this is going to be a really big event. They've been looking at getting a over $2 trillion valuation for this thing. It looks like it's only going to be over $1 trillion, but that's still a massive valuation. Uh, and it comes at a very, very interesting time because as everyone knows, uh, all of the IPOs this year, most of, the, most of them tech stocks for that matter, like Pinterest, Uber, Lyft, uh, and the likes. And then WeWork, which never even managed to get off the ground in the end. And it looks like the company's in a lot of trouble now. All of them have bombed. It has not been a successful year for IPOs. And those were darlings of Silicon Valley, right? Yeah, and it's a surprise to see an oil company following all of those tech companies. And especially at a time now where, uh, you know, climate change is becoming an ever more popular uh, topic of debate. And we are seeing that the, uh, the anti-climate change protesters becoming ever more uh, extreme in their in their actions for that matter. So it's a very interesting thing to see a, such a massive company going public at the end of a year where everyone else that's gone public has really had a very bad year of it. It's been a very unsuccessful year for the IPO, uh, especially when this is a massive oil company that we're talking about and oil companies are now really in the, in, the, in the crosshairs of politicos, sovereign wealth funds, central banks, and the like. But the fact that they're being targeted by politicians and governments and the environmental movement doesn't necessarily mean that this won't be successful. Saudi Aramco, if everything goes as planned and the listing doesn't get pulled, in 2020 alone, we'll be distributing an estimated $75 billion worth of dividends. And that's just as ordinary dividends. There's room for further distributions as well. And we are looking at a time in the future when interest rates are going to be ever lower. And uh, dividends, as a result, are going to be really, you know, really targeted by investors because they're going to be so few and far between. And yields on bonds are going to be ever lower. So this may actually be a terrific investment because all of these pension funds that require uh, income are going to suddenly have access to the most profitable company on the planet. So for the moment, I believe at least, that there is still more power in that good Gulf gasoline. That's it for today's Daily Blitz. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to join us in our next video.